Or why did I choose to send my kids to high school and not continue to homeschool them? Is it because it just got hard? Is it because it's just too hard in general to homeschool high schoolers? Or is it for other reasons? To be at that place where you have to be willing to let go and just kind of let God, <laughs> that, that's hard. It's not an easy task. Hey fam, Sarah here. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm doing a Q&A because this is a question that I got recently and I want to tackle it today. But if you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a mom of five. I am a homeschooling slash large family mom because we have a large, I mean five kids these days is a large family. Like it's a lot. <laughs> but um, on this channel, we share our experience with homeschooling as well as our day in, homeschool day in the lives and such, as well as large family content, how we manage as a family, what we cook, what we eat, what, just things that we do and share different aspects of life as a large family um, in vlog style and sometimes sit down videos. So in today's video, I am going to be touching base on a question that I got recently asked because I'm a homeschool mom and I've homeschooled my three eldest all the way from elementary up until grade 10 and then the other two grade nine, I sent them off to high school. So I've gotten the question as to, or why did I choose to send my, high, my kids to high school and not continue to homeschool them? Is it because it just got hard Hard? Is it because it's just too hard in general to homeschool high schoolers or is it for other reasons? And I think it's a fantastic question and I want to tackle it for you guys today. It's been a minute since I did a Q&A. So um, if you guys ever have questions that you want to ask me, definitely ask below and I'll definitely do some sit downs and um, answer your questions. But I'm going to jump right into today's question and answer why we chose to send our kids to high school and not continue to homeschool them as we did before. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into it. We've homeschooled our kids all the way from elementary all the way up until grade nine. My eldest one in grade 10 and my youngest in grade nine. And um, of course I was hesitant to send them first after investing so much of my time in homeschooling them and wanting to prepare them for the world. But there are aspects of things I think that also needed to happen. We wanted them to get some real world experience as well as in terms of like being at school and being around all types of people because in the real world they're going to have to be around these people. I think by the time we sent them in grade 9 and grade 10, we felt like they were, as much as we were apprehensive or nervous, I think we felt like they were equipped with the tools that we kind of provided them along the way, especially things that they learned throughout homeschooling that they were just kind of, that they were just okay. I think they were going to be okay. And my, as you guys know, my eldest is now in nursing school. So she's went through high school and she did, she did well and got great grades and got through, thank God. But it wasn't without any, you know, little riffs there's learning it's a learning process and life isn't perfect so they have to learn along the way that's the part that we can't always provide at home someone asked if we stopped because it just got harder homeschooling in high school it is but it isn't at the same time because for me by the time they were at the high school level they were i was pretty confident with homeschooling them even in the areas that I felt like I wasn't fully equipped, like my, you know, I did math, but I'm not the math person and I'm not the big sciencey person either. That's more, those are like, that's like my husband. And so he was, he's able to fill in the void in areas like that where they may need extra help. But as far as them being like self learners as well, that, that was really, really good. There's so many resources today that can help equip them, equipped us for all the, challenges that come their way but it's also nice that they have someone like their dad that they can work with through those problems because it's just nice to have people to bounce off of as well for math it's not always easy to just expect the individuals that are learning like our kids to just be able to have it together and figure it all out and do it all on their own all the time so that was really really good that's a great tool that they had in their back pocket he's an engineer if you guys don't know so he is equipped in these areas in the math and the sciences and so he's got that part um that part was very well there for for us 
if like you know as needed it wasn't necessarily about it just it wasn't about it being difficult because i just feel like there's even if it's hard there's different there's resources that you can use i think when you get to a point when you're homeschooling in high school still it's got to be for a number of different reasons and it's more so you still getting to have a bit more control over your children's um education and also their the their i want to say their life just because there's so much influence and stuff that happens at school also for you know we my husband and I we weren't always on the same page I know for me I've invested the whole so much time into it too that I was apprehensive because that's like oh you as a mom you've held on for so long you've sacrificed and you've been doing this thing the entire time and then to be at that place where you have to be willing to let go and just kind of let God <laughs> that that's hard it's not an easy task from his standpoint being like a very academic individual he as much as she saw what homeschooling did and the confidence and all the different things that it provided our kids at the same token we know career wise in today's world it's a challenge and the only and a lot of the times that you have to kind of go the academic route in order to I don't know, I say that lightly. I want to say that lightly because I still am a dreamer and I want to support my kids' dreams. But I do know how the world kind of works and everything is off of money these days. You need it to live. Everything's gone up. Everything is pricey. You need um, you need funds to be able to do the things that you want to do and follow your dreams. Whether it's to buy a house one day, whether it's to have a big family, whether it's to do all the different things, you need funds to do them. And so just having a e good education can help with that oh my gosh i can hear this kid rolling the ball and all the things upstairs what i'm trying to make this video <laughs> so um from so from my husband's point i think that was a point that he was also worried about just the how what would the transition be from homeschool to high school I think that was the thing because we don't have a lot of people that we knew that did what we did nor have gone through and did what we did and even when we knew other homeschoolers they weren't always doing the same things we a lot of times they actually didn't do the same things that we did or necessarily some are more you know a lot of us do things different ways some kind of on school some focus on the academic route some focus some are a little less academic and you know we we all do different things because we're all different and we all maybe have our different focuses and so for us we always wanted to make sure make sure that we were focused on the academic side so they could be prepared academically and be able to do any career they want to i didn't want homeschooling to be the thing that kind of held them back in that area i put a huge weight on my shoulder but i'm also glad i did because it helped push me and helped me keep keep my own self accountable uh so they could do well and produce good fruits. So that's really kind of like me answering this question that I've been asked a number of times, like, like why did we send them? And it's not just one answer. It's a bunch of different answers, but it's not, it's definitely not just going to be because it's hard because it's going to be challenging, especially if you're the parent and certain, some, some of what you're going to learn is not going to be a strong suit. Um, I remember the high school years and not exactly loving to be loving being at high school and doing all that, you know. So I, I understand. But that's the beauty of homeschooling where your kids don't have that influence because a lot of it is also influence and it's also who and what you surround yourself around. So with homeschooling, you have that opportunity to kind of create just good environments with your, for your kid, good work ethic, good work environment, good overall, good view at work on a whole it's a beautiful thing yeah there's definitely some reservations definitely some fear in there but with the by the grace of god we managed to make it through and i'm very very grateful um for that with uh, my kids they've all done extremely well they've all rolled into high school with great grades they are all academic all the ones that are in have gone through high school and they're going through high school are very academic they get amazing grades they're straight-a students and i'm like i'm you don't understand it melts my heart to know that they're able to do these things and i attribute it to just developing work ethic i want to do another video on that touching on the importance of that because 
sometimes like with homeschooling, we want to do things a certain way. We all do the things differently, but then, you know, some of us do some, some things a certain way. And some people look at it and think like, why do you do that? Like, I remember when I was teaching my now soon be soon to be six year old, how to read at three because she already knew how to read and some people thought like whoa like why would you do that like let the kid be a kid and it's like I am <laughs> she's smart and I'm I'm uh fostering what I the, you know what I see within her and she's learned how to read now she's five and she's reading chapter books all day every day and that's the kind of stuff like I like to hone in on. And that's the stuff that teaches confidence at a young age and teaches strength at a young age, as well as just good habits and just all these different things that can, can you know, that contributes to like developing good work ethic. So there are reasons why we, some of us will do certain things and so sometimes others don't fully understand what you're getting at because like I said, all of our, our goals are very different, but that's been kind of like my goal. Homeschooling has lots of perks and lots of, lots of perks of being able to roll up and study a bit in your pajamas sometimes, sometimes, but not every day. Homeschooling has the perks of them being able to sleep in sometimes, but not every single day <laughs> because in the midst of it all i am also trying to teach create routines and i'm also trying to teach like i said good work work ethic i'm trying to foster good habits and kids are kids they don't have it all figured out and nor do we but we know that these things do matter and they do play a role and it's good to give them the confidence by the time they t t hit like teenagehood they have a level of confidence that in themselves and a little bit, understand who they are a little bit more when they um, have developed certain things to, over the years it's been a journey and I'm really enjoying it and things are a little different this time around we are and I'm enjoying it again but I'm doing things a little different at the same time but still very much so keeping the same values and the, keeping the same goals and those sort of things. I know it's not a super long video, but that just kind of answers the question as to why we chose to homeschool and send our kids in high school. And I think, you know, I do think in high school, they just got to learn a whole bunch of different things. They get to be around different people. They get to be exposed to a lot of different things, a lot of different things. And um, it's just crazy. And I remember just kind of questioning and just getting nervous and anxious about how would I navigate certain things when they get exposed to it. I'm telling you, a lot of prayer along the way is what gets you through, or at least what's what gotten me through. But just to even feel, it's given me confidence too to know that, you know, as much as I'm homeschooling, as much as I've homeschooled, and as much as I've taken my kids um, education in my hands I'm also learning to trust and realize that it's not just all my doing and I and I've always known that but I realize it's not all my doing and there comes a time too when I have to trust in God and trust that he's got them because of the work I've put in he's been a huge part of our journey and he's always been at the forefront and my kids get taught that he has to be at the forefront because when we get up who do we give thanks to who keeps us grounded who keeps who keeps us focused it's him the values and the goals and the and the love and the growth and the just all the daily rifts and the disagreements and the different things that you will deal with it's him and his principles that gets us through and allows us to recover recover ever so um just recover because man sometimes you hit a roadblock and you're like how how will I overcome this how will I get past this how will I get through and there and you get through and then you just have to like just raise your lift your hands and give all the thanks doesn't mean life is perfect doesn't mean like things are going perfectly and everything's going every 
going perfectly every single day of every minute, every minute, every, every hour. No, <laughs> but it just means that we put things in perspective and we do our best to understand and overcome and anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in uh my video just got cut off so i hope i ended that my sentence but um yeah this is a good place to end thank you so much for tuning in i hope we, i answered some of the questions that you guys may have in this area or just the very questions that were asked about why we sent our kids to high school and not homeschool them and i if you have any more questions definitely leave them down below I hope I answered them well because I'm a little tired <laughs> today. I uh, stayed up so late watching stuff with my girls last night because it's the holiday season and this is kind of like what we do. But um, hope you guys enjoyed it, the video. So thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. And I will see you in the next one.